having a properly optimized dialed in daily schedule is one of the most crucial and fundamental things you need as an agent in order to scale your business every single year and not hit a plateau. You see, for example, two people can be in a car, both foot flat on the gas. One can be in the mud spinning their tires. The other can be going down the highway at 200 miles per hour. Both of their foot on the gas two drastically different outcomes. So what we're gonna be diving into today with David Benz, who's one of the top mindset and performance coaches in real estate and a top luxury agent, is the proven daily schedule that's helped thousands of agents now scale their business to the multiple six figure PR level, broken down in different sections that we're gonna dig into so that you can follow this. One of the misconceptions is that real estate is difficult or that it's complex. It's very simple. There's only a couple things that you need to do and you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. You just have to know what to do and when to do it. And that's what we're gonna break down. If you have any questions after this presentation and you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call privately with David to talk about how you can partner with him for free to get his guidance and coaching like thousands of others have, feel free to check out the links in the pinned comment in the description so that you can book that call. Without further ado, let's dive into this optimized daily schedule, which is exactly what I follow in order to build a successful real estate business. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I'm super excited to talk about this topic which is a powerful daily workflow in order to crush it in real estate. What you'll see is one of the reasons why I've been able to build momentum every single year and not relive my first year every single year for multiple years in a row is because I have a very effective daily schedule that I'm self accountable to and very consistent with. And we have on a very special guest today, David Benz, who you might have seen before if you've been following our series, because we've got a three part series about how to crush it in real estate. And I'll link the other videos that are a part of this series below. And David is an absolute rock star in our group. Um, and he's a luxury real estate agent who's also done incredible amounts of high-end deals, but he's also a real estate mindset coach and a high performance coach for real estate agents. And these are the strategies that have helped thousands of agents he's worked with in order to take their business to the next level. So I'll let David introduce himself and then we're gonna get straight into the value of how to have an effective momentum building daily workflow. What's going on, David? Welcome back. Hey man, thanks so much. And if uh, if you're watching this, guys, um, you know I've been in the industry for the last 15 years. Started in commercial and corporate real estate, and then I transitioned over to Keller Williams, where I spent eight years as a top producer there at Keller, being top 25 in Canada for 2015, 16, and 17. The whole time throughout my career, um, you know, and I transitioned to you know through other companies eventually here to EXP, but. During this whole time, I had the opportunity to lead personal development programs for the world's largest personal development company called Landmark, all while building a business. And to say that that was easy uh, would be a complete understatement. It was one of the hardest things I ever did in my life because becoming a program leader there is literally the Navy SEALs boot camp of the personal development world. And I discovered a lot which led me here today. And as Mike said, I have been a top producer for a number of years and uh, have done really, really well in the business. But how was I able to do that with so much on my plate? Well, we're gonna get into that today because one of the problems in the real estate business is people love to overcomplicate it. They love to overcomplicate the real estate business. And if you're not meeting your financial objectives, if you're not signing those listings, if you're not doing those deals, at the pace in which you want to, you're going to want to watch this video. You're also going to want to go watch the two other videos that Mike and I did on the performance cycle and the vivid vision, because this mindset mini series all fits together. So what we're going to be covering today is this, and we're going to be covering the daily workflow. The daily workflow is a very powerful yet simple tool that most people don't employ. What everybody always talks about, Mike, you've probably heard this till you're blue in the face, is, oh, you got a time block. But let's look at the National Association of Realtor Statistics in the US and even the statistics in Canada, which say that 90% of real estate agents, approximately 90% of real estate agents, don't actually meet their goals. Of the 10%, those people want to be doing more. And in fact, it doesn't even take that much to get into that upper, upper 
But what we're dealing with now in the industry and in the world, thanks to COVID, thanks to CNN, Facebook, Instagram, bang, 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 we are in an attention game, an attention and discipline game. So the daily workflow is intended to give you some insight and an actionable access to actually fulfilling on what you want. Because over the last five years, every single aspect of the real estate business has completely changed. Plus, the complexity of the real estate has easily 10 x How we update clients, how we follow up on showings, how we book showings, technology, CRM, social media, which is like that's encapsulating a huge topic in and of itself. But there are so many more components that the human brain needs to deal with and manage and billions of dollars is being spent on stealing your attention every single day. In the brain of most realtors who are not meeting their business in financial objectives looks like this. They're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, text, then they fall into the world of fear. They're looking for the quick fix, comparison. They have relationship issues. They're worried about money. They have to do lead follow-up. They're working 10 hours a day, 10 hours a day plus. I would say at least half of that is very unproductive. They're exhausted. They're in a world of panic. They need to book showings. They need to call their mother. Like it's madness. It is absolute madness. But the only authority in your life is you. And if there's one thing that you take away from this training today, it is that. There is only one authority in your life, and that is you. And you've got to get responsible for where you're putting your attention every single day. And this can be really challenging for people to understand. You know, I was somebody who grew up being constantly told that I had ADD, constantly. And I do, frankly. But what I've been able to do is put my attention where I want it to. And when I don't, because I can easily get sucked into YouTube, easily get sucked into Instagram. We all can. I know that I've got to delete the app for 24 hours. I literally do that. Okay, you just got to do a full stop because I have to get responsible for where my attention is. And look, in the real estate business, this is your only objective. You have to prospect to find new clients. You have to book appointments with those prospective clients and you have to conduct the appointments all while removing any and all distractions. This is the primary job that is going to fuel the future that you say that you want, nothing else. Not scrolling, not aimlessly going through MLS, not getting caught up at the water cooler, You're talking about the latest drama in your office not going on to Facebook workplace to see what other people are doing, not going on to social media to compare yourself against other top producing agents, just to widen the gap and make yourself feel like crap. Not coming up with a new sign, like none of that stuff, guys. Your three core jobs are right here on the screen. Prospect, book appointments, and then go and conduct the appointments. And you've got to focus on the daily actions that will forward the future of your vivid vision. If you have not watched the vivid vision video that Mike and I did in that training, go back onto Mike's channel and look for that. It'll be within the last few weeks. And anything that isn't forwarding the future is noise and it needs to be eliminated from your space. So what does it look like to create a daily workflow? Well, there are four quadrants to the daily workflow. First is prime time. This is priming you for the day, preparing you for the day. Now, I'm not presenting this in a dogmatic way that you have to do everything that's in the prime time every morning. 
Okay. I, in fact, do not work out in the morning. I do not like working out in the morning. I'll go for a walk, but I'll go train in the afternoon at the gym. I've tried it. I'm just not somebody who likes to do it. Wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, get present, have some water, have a coffee. You have to review your vivid vision every single morning for at least 10 to 15 minutes following the steps that I provided in that training. Perhaps you want to read. Perhaps you want to go do some exercise. Get out into nature. Create your morning prime time schedule from the moment you wake up to the moment your day starts. And then we have revenue time. During revenue time is where you eliminate every single distraction that is not forwarding the future of your financial objective. If it is not booking appointments and connecting with prospective clients, it does not get done with the exception of going to the washroom. It is you're, you're putting yourself in a cell, literally completely insulated from the world to focus on revenue generating activities only. This one here is the hardest for people in our industry because they have all of their rationalizations and justifications and they're at the effect of life. They're constantly just being distracted by something. They got to go do this, do this, client demands. No. When I was in my prime time of selling, a client would not get me on the phone between the hours of nine and noon unless we were working on an active deal. And the first response would always be, how can you do that easily? I'm the authority of my life. I set the boundaries. If it's not urgent, we don't have an, uh, a transaction in play at the moment. It is completely unnecessary. I really resonate with that revenue time because I did the same thing when I was building my business and focusing on production and scaling. And, you know, there was two things that I found were really impactful is, you know, I would put my phone on airplane mode and I would just work and I would remove, there was no notifications. There was no scrolling. There was no anything yeah. popping up to distract. I would just, I like literally right now, my phone's on airplane mode because for the first half of the day, I usually don't check anything. Um, but the one thing that I always thought was really cool about the revenue time aspect of it. And for me, it was working on my power list is it's almost like the gym. It's like you, a lot of people dread going to the gym, but when you finish the gym or spin class or anything difficult, that's physically exhausting, you feel a sense of, of, of accomplishment afterward. And I found that was every single day, every single day, I had my revenue time where I was either door knocking or cold calling, or doing the things that I hated, but I knew needed to be done to build momentum with the business is I would dread it every single time. And every single time I finished it, you felt a sense of accomplishment, you felt a win. And that's what builds momentum. And also, I kind of had this like competitive feeling where I knew that my competition was not doing that. So you feel like now you're getting a leg up on everybody. Instead of going on social media and comparing yourself to them, you're making yourself productive and outworking them. And it's a completely different feeling you get when you finish that, you know, three hour kind of momentum building activity. You're exactly right, Mike. And I, I'm remembering a story. When I first started at Keller Williams, I was in a position where I needed to generate business. Like I had to generate business. And we had this bullpen at the back of the office on this back wall. And that's where everybody loved to come in. Hey, you know, come check out my new listing. Hey, did you hear about this? The drama, just all this stuff. And I was sitting there on the phone I was doing, I was speaking to 30 people a day from cold calling and I did not move until that was done. And I would literally tell people, can you please stop talking? I'm actually working here. Yeah. And people did not like it. However, who was the one who actually won the game? Not them. It was me. And you've got to generate that level of intensity and focus, intensity on the vision, the vivid vision of what you're creating and what you're intending, and intense repeated action like we covered in the performance cycle. And one of the downfalls of our industry is everyone's always trying to do something else. Oh, I'm going to follow Mike and build YouTube. Oh, I'm going to go do this and you know become the Instagram star. 
oh, I'm going to be the cold call machine. Oh, I'm going to, you know, go do, go back and go old school and do Brian Buffini. Like you have to pick one or two lanes to generate business and have the intestinal fortitude and discipline to stay with that for a consistent period of time being a minimum of two to three months. You do that Monday to Friday, two to three hours a day, you will get into momentum as Mike said. And momentum is the greatest prize possession of any realtor. Frankly, anybody in a sales capacity that's in a 100% commission-based business. But it takes something. It takes a deep trust to continue to go, continue to go because the instinctual response is to go find another solution. Oh, this didn't work. I'm going to go do that. If you just stick in revenue time for the next 45 days, I promise you, your business will begin to take off. And this list here is just, it's very limited. It's, 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 it's an overview, but just go out and door knock. That should have a K on it. I do know that. <laughs> you know, offer people complimentary CMAs. Pull up your sphere. There's probably 150 people there. Print it out, mail it to them. I guarantee you'll pick out a listing in the next 45 days from that. Guaranteed. Do handwritten notes to your sphere of influence. Cold call, door knock, post on social media, but don't get sucked into it. Like just stick in the revenue time. Then you have your admin and management. You have to attend to your emails. Intentionally use social media. Stop going on and looking at whatever it is that you look at on there. You don't need to. It's just filling your brain with garbage. And do your client follow-up. Prime time, revenue time, and admin time, I have always said this. If when people follow this, your workday is done by two o'clock. And then you have showings and, you know, maybe an appointment, but you're actually revenue generating times to build and manage your business. There is no reason to work past two o'clock. None. When I was in my prime time of hardcore selling, I was done my work time by two o'clock. And then you have personal. What do you need to do? Do you need to go to the dentist? You need to get the car fixed. Like go attend to your personal life. Go for an impromptu coffee with your partner, your wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. You have to attend to that personal side of the business or pardon me, of your life because that is such as we all know in this industry, that can be a huge piece that gets missed because of the next client meeting client demand, breakdown on a deal. Mike and I were talking before this call about, you know, dealing with really challenging sales. That can be all consuming. Okay, so I would take a screenshot of this and set up your prime time. Set up your prime time from the moment you wake up till whatever, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Nothing else gets done. Nothing else gets your attention. This is your prime time to prime you for the day to fulfill on your vivid vision. Then you have your revenue time. Like Mike does airplane mode, you may employ a similar principle. Turn off all your notifications and any distractions and put yourself in a space where you can be completely focused on revenue generating activities. And then schedule your admin and management time. Perhaps you check your email right before you start the day. If you have some active clients on the go, you would probably want to do that. Then check your email in your social media around noon then check it again around four o'clock. Stop being on your phone all day. It is completely ruining your brain and you don't even know it. I think there's an interesting quality test to do there too that I always think about because you know I see people that, especially if you're using an iPhone, I don't know what they do on Androids, but um, it, you know who uses those, right? But it, uh, it, it gives you every week a summary of your daily usage and your average daily usage. And it's pretty funny because like my average daily usage and, and guys, if you're watching to this point, like keep in mind, I run my business on social media. Like a hundred percent of my business comes through social media. I've built it through social media. So most people make the assumption that I'll be spending all day, every day on my phone. 
I use social media as a tool, not a toy. If you look at my daily watch time from somebody that literally runs his entire multiple seven figure peer business online, my daily screen time per week on an average day averages one hour and 23 minutes a day. Most people that send me theirs is six to eight hours a day on their cell phone. So it's really interesting to see how much time you're spending on it. Because what I constantly see is like, you know, business is a numbers game in any business. And a lot of people, again, like you alluded to, David, you know, a lot of people overcomplicate it, where I tell people all the time, like, if your business is not where you want it to be, if you go prospect for 10 hours a day, every single day for the next 90 days, you're going to have a top producing business that you just built. But yep. most people aren't willing to do the numbers. It's all in the numbers. It's the simplest thing. But most people are willing to commit to the numbers. And I see agents saying, well, Mike, I'm working 10, 12, 14, however many hours a day. Um, and my business isn't what it's, you know, what I want it to be. And what you'll see, and I, I constantly identify this in people, is most people don't have a freaking clue of what it's like to actually work. It's they're not being productive. Most people have never had two to three hours of intentional like laser beam focused work in the last couple of years. They're distracted, they're dabbling with it, they're, they make a couple calls and check a phone, they make a couple calls, check their email, make a couple calls, see what's on YouTube. And if you like David said, like, literally, if you focus on being fully dedicated and devoted to the income producing activities, you can shrink your time to 25% of what you're working today and get more results done. But everybody feels like they're this grinder that has to fill 24 hours in a day. Um, but you're filling it with weak, you know, unproductive activities. You're not being intentional with it. Um, and if you see what it's like to actually work intentionally with the blinders on, uh, you have a completely different perspective of how much you actually have to work. Yep. You're bang on. Exactly. And you want to bring that, you know, Sam Oven says it, as you probably know, you want to bring a monk-like discipline to this revenue time, like nothing, no matter what, unless it's a family emergency, nothing will steal your attention. Imagine that for a second. Somebody could run in the house on fire. You don't even, and I mean that figuratively, you don't move. You're here to fulfill on something. That is the level of focus that you've got to bring to that revenue time. In, please begin to generate some damn discipline around your phone. It's, it's just, it, it, it boggles my mind what people do to themselves. And that's not what we want you to do. That's why we're sharing all this with you. So like I said earlier, you want to choose one or two prospecting methods. Max. <laughs> one or two max. Stop being the agent who's trying to chase every rabbit because you're not going to catch them all. Pick one or two lanes and stay in your lane. The people who stay in their lane are the ones who are successful. And you want to pull out your calendar, go back here and schedule this time in, block this time in. And go get that done. So you can go create the future that you say you want. Everybody says they want something. Everybody says they want to have this amazing, magical future. But few people go through what's required to actually go fulfill it. So don't be one of those people. And as I always say, go implement. Go implement. That's it. You got into this business for a very, very, very specific reason. It's up to you because you're the authority in your life to go fulfill on it. And that's it. Yeah, I think it's it's important because again, everybody complicates the real estate industry. They're always looking for the next shiny penny. They're always looking for the overnight success tool. And, you know, in order to build a massive business, it's about doing the boring things that suck repeatedly over and over and over consistently until, get, until you get to the point where you've earned the right to do the things you want to do. Because I constantly see people that get into the real estate industry, new agents, and they say, well, Mike, like, I don't want to prospect. I just want to put out YouTube videos or I just want to you know, run Facebook ads, whatever. And, and 
you know, in very rare cases that can be done, it can work, but it, that's a complete anomaly. Um, and, you know, I always ask these people, like, when, when I got into real estate, I wanted to look back at the end of my first year and say there wasn't one thing humanly I could have done more in order to build momentum. Um, so I door knocked, I cold called, I put out Facebook ads every single day. I put out a YouTube video a couple times a week. Like I post on Instagram, like I, I did it all in order to say, I'm going to look back and say, I did the numbers. I put in the time, I cranked up the numbers. I did what I could. Um, and a lot of people don't want to do the stuff that sucks in order to get to the point where they can do what they enjoy. Uh, they want to skip that phase, but that's not how business works. Um, and the quicker you start doing the things like this, that take the fortitude, that take the grit, that take, you know, the, the mental focus, um, the quicker you'll get to the point where you can actually do only the stuff that you enjoy. Um, and then you'll start to have a lot more fun in the business, but you have to earn your stripes. You have to put in the hard work, the disciplined work and the consistent work in order to get there. So I think the day the flows, you know, workflow is absolutely incredible. Um, and I think it's really funny, David, because like you, I've never even seen the, the full outline of your daily workflow, but it's exactly what I already did. And I think that's really funny because what you'll see is almost every single time with people that build momentum in real estate, they did it without even knowing it because it's actually what it takes in order to get there. It's not some rocket science. It is not, you know, some wizardry that these people just like, you know, had this magical schedule that nobody else could have thought of um, that, you know, is the blueprint to unicorn land. Like it's what makes logical sense to build your business. You put in the hard work of what you need to do to move the needle. And then the rest of the time you can do, the other stuff that fall into place naturally. So I think it's incredible to, to visually break that down like you did today um, and share with people, you know, a powerful workflow schedule that they could follow. Yeah, you got it. And, and success is actually very simple, everyone. It's very simple. You need to go and create a vision for what you want and take consistent repeated action day in and day out. You know, most people hate leg day at the gym. Go do leg day every day. That's what it takes. That's the level of thinking. Nobody loves cold calling. I don't know anybody who loves door knocking. Maybe one guy that I'm buddies here with in Toronto, maybe him. Go do that every day. Because it, it's, it's all the law of polarity. You, you don't want to do it, but then you can do it. Well, then just go do that. It's actually that simple. So Go implement what Mike and I have shared over the last three videos here, because this stuff works. And if you don't like leg day, go do leg day every day and watch what happens in your life. Yeah, I think it's it's identifying your weak points and doubling down on it, right? It's it's funny that you bring up leg day because I remember, you know, being into the into the fitness space, like this is what Arnold Schwarzenegger did, where he had a massive upper body and everybody made fun of his legs. So what he would do, and he always wore pants to the gym to cover up his legs. And what he started doing every single day is wearing shorts to expose his weak point and started working on it and built it up. It's like yeah. when you can stop covering up and trying to hide and brush under the rug and toss in the closet, the weak points that you know are what are not getting you to where you want to be. And instead becoming self-aware of them and then addressing it, that is what's going to take your business to the next level. Because the, the thing is, David, and you know this more than anybody, everybody knows what they should be doing. Everybody knows what it takes. Everybody knows, you know, the stuff they're not doing that they need to be doing, but they're constantly trying to turn a blind eye to it, which, you know, which is the same thing that leads to, to depressions, to anxieties, to uh, failure, to leaving the business. Like it's the exact same thing just applied in business. And guys, like, again, I can't stress this enough. You know, business is a numbers game. If you talk to 10 people a day, you're going to have a 10 person a day business. If you talk to a thousand people a day, your business is going to grow a hundred times quicker. So it's all about getting the volume, the intentional volume in, in the beginning by doing the two to three hours a day of prospecting. Um, and then you'll get to the point where you've got a pipeline that you can service for the rest of your career. So many new agents reach out to me and say, well, Mike, I'm a new agent in a new city. I have no sphere. What do I do? Go build a freaking sphere. It's so easy. Go call, go knock, go to networking events on the personal time block side. Like, it does not get complicated, um, but everybody wants to because it's, again, an easy scapegoat from doing what you're supposed to be doing. So, guys, again, 
make sure you check out the full series. I'm going to be linking all of the videos below um, in sequential order. And I'll also be linking all of David's stuff um, because he's got some incredible training programs. He's also got some opportunities to partner with him so you can get his mentorship, coaching, and guidance for free. Um, so I'll be sure to link that below and check him out because as you can see, um, you know, he understands this stuff better than anybody and he'll help you get to where you want to be. So as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.